Good morning and welcome to day 88 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Romes. Uh, it is just after 7. Got up, packed everything up, ate breakfast, and filled up on water because we have a 12 to 13 mile water carry. Uh, there is another spring past here, but um, it may not be flowing. So, uh, yeah, could be 12, could be 13. Either way, really long water carry. Luckily, it is fairly overcast, and we're in Shenandoah, so it should be decently cruisy. Um, I don't really have a plan for today. Um, part of that is because it's hard to plan in Shenandoah. No one really, at least from my experience, talks about this. Um, unlike the Smokies, you are allowed to disperse camp. You don't have to stay at the shelters, which is good because the shelters are spaced out rather strangely. Um, the first one is eight miles in, the next one is 13 miles in, or you could do 26. Everyone I stayed at the shelter with last night is doing 26 miles to the next shelter. I will not be doing that. Um, so I will go to the shelter 13 miles, get water, um, and then hopefully find a site somewhere past there. I'm reading in comments at different waypoints and it seems like there should be some options. Uh, it's just none of them are really near water but I'll whoop, carry it in, so it's okay. Uh, my friend Kara, who also is a YouTuber, uh, is actually a Ridge Runner in Shenandoah this year, and uh, I texted her yesterday and said I would be entering the park, and she told me we'll likely cross paths. It sounds like probably today, uh, yesterday, she was heading south from Loft Mountain and is ending tomorrow at McCormick Gap. So we should cross paths. So that is good. Um, maybe I can ask for some tips and tricks and good places to camp. Um, but yeah, so another reason I'm not really planning is because I do want to, you know, kind of see how many miles I can get in and, um, Shenandoah is a good spot to test this out because it's cruisy, so I'm just going to keep water on me, and then I'm going to stop when my body feels like it's ready to stop, and so whether that's my normal 15-ish or if I want to push further, we'll just have to see. Um, Tom and Milk Money should be entering the park today. Milk Money thinks they're going to catch up to me today. I don't think they really understand the water carry situation though, which sounds about right. Um, and so I don't know that I will see them, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I forgot to mention the thing that makes it complicated is um, campsites aren't marked on far out, or I don't even think in the AWOL guide. Uh, in Shenandoah. The only things marked are the huts or shelters uh, and paid campgrounds. So um, that's what makes it challenging is because you can't really plan where to stop. And so I do just kind of have to read comments and it'll say, you know, like 0.3 northbound past this uh, trail split. There will be you know, however many tent sites, people will comment that, but, um, you just have to hope you can find it, which I've done a lot here lately anyway, because, um, yeah, tent sites, uh, can be tricky to find, and so always read the comments of every waypoint. <laughs> trip over um, my feet and rocks and roots and everything all the time. And so today I have Macy Gray's I Try stuck in my head. Try to walk away and I stumble. <laughs> View from Sawmill Run Overlook. A little cloudy.
seen a few water caches today. Very thankful. Um, luckily, I stocked up before I left the shelter just to be safe. Um, but love to see this out here. It is not that hot today, but it is another muggy one. Oof, I'm drenched. My arms are drenched. Uh, my pants legs are just like sticking to my thighs. Ugh. <laughs> oh, just gotta keep trudging. At least it's not blazing hot. I would very much appreciate a breeze at the moment though. And because I'm sure someone will say something, because I've gotten a few comments asking why I'm not switching to shorts or when I'll switch to shorts. Um, your girl doesn't wear shorts. Um, your girl has had thunder thighs her whole life, and they're not going away. And uh, chafing is real, and I don't want to experience that. <laughs> and then... Also, I am incredibly prone to bug bites. Um, there was one night uh, a couple years ago, I had to count because I just needed to know. I got 70 bug bites in one night. Um, they love me <laughs> and they clearly still do because my hands are the only thing exposed and they're covered in bites. So we're not exposing the legs. <laughs> Um, and then a less real possibility is sunburn. Most of the time we're in pretty wooded areas, but still, I am keeping my legs covered the whole trail. I don't care. It's worth it for me. Got a deer up here, a little bit of velvet on that head. Are you brave? Oh, hi. You're pretty brave. Hello. Wow. It's okay. Wow. There's another one. You got some big velvet. Don't ya? Hi there. Well, right when I saw those beauties, I was coming on to tell you, I met a couple guys from the Potomac Trail Club who maintain this section of trail. And they asked if they noticed, if I noticed how nice this section was. And I said, yes, I have been paying attention. Got interrupted by a trail runner there. Holy trail runners. I've seen like six this morning. I mean, it's a Saturday, so. I guess it makes sense. And I mean, this section of trail, I could probably run it. Um, but yeah, so met some guys who work on this section of trail and we just had a nice little chat. Um, I was talking about how, you know, I take my time. My name is Mosey and um, I probably started a lot <laughs> earlier than most people who are passing through here right now. And he was telling me the difference between a vacation and an adventure. And he says, a vacation is something you plan. And a vacation is good based off of whether or not it went according to plan. An adventure, you're expecting things not to go according to plan. And so I'm out here adventuring. We also talked about all the waysides coming up and they were very surprised to know that I already knew about the shortcut to Lost Mountain Wayside and that the Blackberry Milkshakes are back. Um, <laughs> I have my ways. I have my ways. Just ran into my friend Kara. She is the ridge runner I was talking about here in Shenandoah. Um, we met 
at AT kickoff and I literally just stopped and talked to her for like 30 minutes. Um, so that was great, but we had to keep going. She's going south. She'll probably run into Milk Money and Tom later today. Uh, I told him, told her to give him a hard time for me. Um, but yeah, hiking on. I told her I was kind of planning on stopping at the Loft Mountain Wayside tomorrow for lunch. And so she only has like four miles to hike tomorrow morning. So she's going to try and knock those out and maybe meet me at the wayside for lunch. So that'll be so good. Oh, it's good talking to Kara. Her trail name is Beast, by the way, but I didn't really know that beforehand. <laughs> so I made the decision to go about two-ish miles past the shelter. Um, it looks like there should be some campsites around there based on comments. Um, my reason for that is um, tomorrow I want to go to the Loft Mountain Wayside uh, to get that blackberry milkshake. Um, and so I kind of, one, I don't think it was likely for me to make it there today. That would have been a pretty big day um, for me and just didn't really feel up to that. And I don't wanna go too close because they don't open until like 11.30. And so um, I wanna kinda get right in the sweet spot. So when I wake up and start hiking, I'll get there around lunchtime. And I think I mentioned before, Kara um, may join me for lunch there tomorrow. So that will be good. Um, so the plan is to go just past the shelter, get some water there. So um, instead of my normal cold lunch, I think when I get to the shelter, I'm gonna have a late hot lunch and then eat uh, what I would normally have, my cold meal for dinner when I get to camp. Uh, so I've just been snacking till I get to the shelter. <laughs> Um, cause I am eating a little later than usual, but that's okay. So that is the plan for today. I told Kara, I don't really have a plan for the shinnies. And she said, that's good. It's best not to here. You don't need one. <laughs> um, just kind of play it by ear. Um, only goal to make it to waysides. <laughs> I have to say so far, I would not classify Shenandoah as quote unquote flat. There aren't like big climbs so far. It's just lots of little ups and downs, but not flat, not quite. So just went to the shelter, had some ramen and got water. Um, there was a guy there, he seemed like a nice enough guy, but uh, I would describe him as a Debbie Downer. Um, everything he had to say, it was just, oh, kind of, yeah, not the most positive conversation. Um, he, I told him I wasn't staying there, and he's like, oh, you're doing 26. I was like, no, I'm just gonna, you know, fill up water and go find a place to camp. And he's like, oh, you're feeling lucky. I was like, oh, well, you know, I think I've seen enough uh, camp spots along the trail and spoke with a ridge runner and she didn't seem to think it was a bad plan. And um, he was like, well, I've seen two bears today. And I was like, you know, that's, that's a risk. Um, you know, it's always a possibility, but um, you know, I haven't really had any negative encounters. Um, and then he was like, yeah, I started walking on Skyline Drive and decided to let the bears have the trail. I'm like, okay. And then he's talking about all the snakes he's seen and yellow jackets and how the waysides only sell spam. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just, <laughs> it was an interesting conversation for sure. Um, it's about, I don't know, probably 3.30. He was tucking into bed when I left. So, um, we're gonna hike on. I think there should be a campsite 
in about two miles near um, like a trailhead, um, according to comments on Far Out. Let's hope it's right. If not, we'll just keep hiking till we find something. Here we are from the top of Black Rock. Maybe not the very top. I could go up there. I'm choosing not to. And now we're back to the green tunnel. So wild. 